Hi Beach! Welcome back to my channel. I got a very glamorous, glittering, shiny, sparkling, what have you, unboxing today. So I was fortunate enough to get three different styles from the Dolls Kill Bling Tour. And I will be unboxing them today. I've had them for a while. I just haven't had a chance to, you know, crack these babies open for you guys. Check them out, see if it was worth all the hype. Thankfully, I was able to get them online. I got that notification straight to my phone and, you know, it went down, it went down. With my plastic, it went down. The Bling Tour is feminine glam meets streetwear. And you know I got my little, my little bling bling. Let us get into these styles. I am gonna go in order from shortest to tallest boot. Um, the first pair, they are poster girl combat boots. And I don't know why, but they arrived not in a box, which was disappointing because I like to keep my shoes in boxes, especially if I'm going to spend an arm and a foot or two feet to uh, be stylish. But we gonna open these babies up. I got my scissors right here, girl. Snip, snip. One of my favorite things about Dolls Kill is that their shoes are individually packed in these bags and I love that. So, you know, it could make up for not having a box. This is how they would typically come out of a box. And I do have a pair of combat boots from Poster Girl like this. So I knew what size that I was going to need. Ooh. Okay. I had some creasing on it, but it comes with, uh, lace front and a side zipper here a stash pocket on the heel and on the side and is very sparkly um i don't think i see any rhinestones out of place or like they've fallen off let's get the other boot out and examine this. All right, this is the other boot. I'm just checking for any fallout. The top of my boot was still like a little crinkled. It's not a big deal, but I think that wouldn't have happened had it came in a box like I hoped it would have or expected it to have. Okay, I think we are in good shape. I will make sure to, you know, do my, do my little, do my little walk, do my little twirl on the catwalk. Moving on, these are combat boots. Club X combat boots. And they came in a box, thankfully, so I'm very happy about that. And another thing I do like about Dolls Kill is that they put rubber bands around their boxes. I don't know if they do that all the time, but most of the time I've received my packages, they have a rubber band, so I like that. Oh, let's see what we got going on in here. So I have a pair of trader boots. These are the trader boots. So again, I kind of knew what to expect size-wise. Oh, a little bit of a scuff right there. That's the kind of material that would scuff though. Let's see. And the buckle was covered with tissue. I don't see any fallout 
We're missing rhinestones. No, nope, I think we are good. And these lace up in the front and then have this lovely buckle where the ankle is. Don't get your hopes up as far as preserving the sole. Get the other one out. Again, just looking for any imperfections. I'm really happy that this wasn't, the top of the boot wasn't crinkled like the poster girl one. Nope, we are good. They look gorgeous. I'm gonna put this on my mantle over the fireplace. Both the boots for the views. Give you some angles. All right. Baby girl got one more box. These are the Billionaire Bling combat boots. They're huge. I don't think I have boots this tall. Ooh, I didn't realize the uh, top was attached like that. I thought it was just a normal kit. Oh, it's shiny. Ooh, beach. Hello. Hi. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? Doing a once over for Fallout again and seeing if we are missing any rhinestones. I am not seeing anything. Nope. Nope, that's fine too. All right. I think, I think we're good y'all. I think we're good. This is a lot like the poster girl boot, but taller and it has stash pockets on the side, lace up on the front. And of course that inner zipper. is sparkly, is shiny. Pull the other one out for a check. I'm so happy these actually came in a box. I think I'd be more upset if this big pair didn't come in a box. At least it was the smaller or the shorter sized boot. I think we are good again, guys. Wonderful. So no noticeable fallout on any of the boots, which is fantastic. I don't see any imperfections outside of the tiny scuff on the trader boots, which I mean, the sole is so thick and tall. It's, it's going to happen. So it's not a big deal. Hello. Well, let's see how these babies look on my feet. So there were two other styles that I myself didn't purchase. There were these really tall, like classic looking thigh high boots. It looked very Vegas to me, but the boots looked like there was a large amount of space around the top part of it. And I just don't think they would have looked flattering on me at least. The other style was like sheriff boots and Honestly, it's it that really isn't my style. It doesn't really fit with my wardrobe. Maybe if and they were shorter, so maybe if they were like taller sheriff's boots, I probably would have got them. But that's my explanation for not having the other two styles. 
Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a little something different and something I had planned for a while now. But if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, drop a comment down below of which style was your favorite. And remember to watch the cut on your way out. <laughs>